Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we got a beer from Innocent Gun and it is a bottle of the Canadian Cherrywood finish. Scottish oak aged beer. It's been matured for 49 days. There you go, it's in a nice box. This one's 8.3% ABV. Not reviewed their Canada Day this year, so this might be a replacement for their Canada Day 2013. Let me know in the comments box. Um, but yeah, lovely presented box. This beer was sent to me by www.beersofeurope.co.uk The UK's largest online beer retailer. Literally, they've got beer from most of the world, America, Canada even, yeah, they've got beer from Germany, Belgium, you name it. The style of beer you like, they'll have your style. They'll probably even have the beer. Great website, www.beersofeurope.co.uk. Go and check them out. But yeah, here is the Innocent Gun Canadian Cherrywood Finish. Let's get it out. There we go. Nicely presented. It's always nice. You could always, you know, give this out as a Christmas present. But I, I do like the way they present their beers. It gives you that little kind of quality feel to it. Nice cap as well. It's in a clear bottle, but that's not going to make an ounce of difference. It's been in a cardboard box. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. The beer is pouring out kind of a cherry flavour cherry look to the beer kind of cherry flavor looking feel look at that in the glass it's a one finger tan colored head lovely presented beard i love the way that looks it looks a lovely amber color like a dark and a hint of, of a brown mahogany look to the beer nice relaxing carbonation rising up the middle of the glass there you go I'm going to get my nose into this one, but I'm expecting Canadian cherry wood, whatever that is. Mmm, and um, to be honest, I've, I've... This smells similar to, I think it is the Canada Day, it smells quite similar. Massively sweet beer. I have got a sweet tooth, so I do like this aroma. It smells like almost it's it's a it's a bit scotchy. It's a bit like I've never tried it. I don't know if it exists, but like an alcoholic cherry aid. I'm gonna dive in. Cheers, everyone. It's, it's very sweet. It's syrupy smooth. It's almost silky going down your throat. Nicely carbonated and right on the end now there's, there's, there's that kind of barrel aging, that, that woody, slightly bit of alcohol in there, bit of whiskey and I can't help but not like this beer. It's, it's just it's got a lot of quality to it. I know, I know, Innocent Gun have got, it's like Marmite. You either love Innocent Gun or you hate Innocent Gun. I'm not going to get into the whole rigmarole of it all. Um, I'm, I'm just going to get on with the beer in my hand. And do you know what? Yeah. What you've got to look at here, and the guys have been, they're quite clever. They've gone all out quality. Lovely presented box. Lovely presented bottle cap. Lovely stylish bottle. Fantastic looking beer in the glass. And then you taste it and it's nice. It's, 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 it's a good, good beer. I love the oaky. That oaky whiskey aged, the, the, the wood aged flavours. I like the beer, I like that kind of cherry kind of aroma and taste. It's, 
it's nutty, it's slightly hoppy. I think I'm always going to love a beer like this. This is not a beer to guzzle, this is not a beer that you want to kind of have three or four of. This is a beer for me, perhaps a Christmas day beer. It's 8.3%, it's a cold winter's night. Your daughter or your wife's bought you a bottle for Christmas and you think, you know what, I'm going to open that nice cardboard box and sit and enjoy it. Um, if, if you are new to Innocent Gun, if you're new to this style of beer, try and use a tulip, um, this kind of Belgian style glass because you can wash it around, you can dig your nose in, get your aroma in, get your smells, enjoy it, it's complex. Yep, I, I'm not going to kind of shy away from the, I'm not afraid to say, I'm, so I mean, yeah, I'm not afraid, of, I, I'm always going to, I was kind of had a second thought where I thought, I've had um, one or two of their craft beers that they produced, and I really wasn't a fan of that, but I'm not afraid to say that I am a huge, huge fan of this of this style of beer I think I think it's because I've got a sweet tooth and it's a bit warming and it, 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 it is quite complex so for all of them reasons I'm gonna give this beer I'm gonna score this an 8 out of 10 8 out of 10 for me the real L guys again you either love it or you hate it I love it. I think I think it's one of them beers that I'll always enjoy. Um, yeah, so guys at Innocent Gun, keep innovating. Keep bringing out your different old gauge beers. Keep going. Keep enjoying it. Um, thanks for watching me, The Real Ale Guy. Put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to my daily beer reviews and cheers.